uh, there's a beautiful story that's connected to Divrei Torah that I heard. So first of all, just a, a Divrei Torah, a Torah that's written, it's actually from the letters of Rabbi Nossin. So Rabbi Nossin's son writes to his father and asks him, listen, I'm working in a post office. I'm working on a post office and I have some time on my hands. What shall I do? Shall I learn Tehillim? Shall I read Tehillim? Shall I learn Mishnayot? What, what shall I do? And his father, Rabbi Nossin of Breslov, sends him a response back that you should make sure that when you put the stamps on the envelope, use a ruler. Make sure that the stamps are in the right place. And it, it was just very, very interesting, the, the consciousness that Rabbi Nossin said to his son is, be present at work, be present at work. So I was with one of my teachers who told me this story. His name was Rabbi Yosef Meir Weingott, and he was a student of Rav Avraham Sternhartz, who he heard this story from, from and Rav Avraham Sternhartz heard it from his grandfather and great-grandfather, who was Rabbi Nossin. And Rav Avraham Sternhartz, there was a few people there, and there was a, a, a person, an older person, who was very connected to the hidden tzaddik, Rav Avraham Fish, who is buried in Svat. So he said, you know why I'm from today? You know where I'm from? I tell you, I work in the building industry. And Rav Avraham Fish worked as a builder. He did building, he did, he did building and, and things like that. And I was completely secular. And when I came to work and I met this, this person, Rav Avraham Fish, he was quite firm. He had like a firmness, a discipline about him. However, there was something, I would say even mysterious. Number one, he always was very, very conscientious of how he was doing the work. Where other people, they would leave a little bit of mess. They would not clear up or he was muckpit, he cleared up. He made sure everything was precise. Not crazy, but made sure everything within normality was precise, was accurate, all his measurements. But as well, as well, something really interesting. Whereas after a day of work, I always dressed, you know, I just went around in my building clothes. He was very strict in making sure all his clothing was nice, proper and precise. And I started to speak to him like, what, what's going on here? And, and really, really, he said, just by watching him, before I even spoke to him, just by watching him, I developed a belief in Hashem. Wow. I saw something so precious here. He was a work-inspired person. He was a person who recognized he was a vessel to reveal God's light in the world. And everything he did was with impact, with, with inspiration. And just watching him, I became so moved. And it's something so powerful that this person, years and years later, I'm sitting in a shir, he was impacted and inspired and moved by somebody who he saw that was a kid Hashem at work. 